honestly, low key, I might be a little short of breath because I've been playing around on this stool that I'm sitting on and I'm having a lot of fun with it. You'll, you'll see about it at the end of the video. Anywho, we are here to talk about Adept Cosmetics. Yes, Adept Cosmetics is one of my favorite indie brands and I decided let's go ahead and rank my palettes by them. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Welcome on back to my channel. So I am here and I'm ranking my Adept Cosmetic Palette. So I am like 99% sure. Okay, actually, I just figured it out. I'm missing one palette, okay? So I have all the palettes by Adept Cosmetics right here, except for the original Plain Jane, but I do have the Plain Jane Remastered. But before I get carried away, let me go ahead and introduce myself. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're older than welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup, but please just call me Ash or Ashley. Now, you know, eyeshadow is my jam and one of my favorite things to talk about on my channel. So... We're still pressing on. <laughs> Movement is happening with my bedroom. If you're wondering, you know, I had a bad pipe break day before Christmas Eve. And honestly, y'all, so I had to move some stuff because, like I said, I want to sell my house. So I have some things that I'm getting in preparation. You know, you got to beautify it before you put it on the market and all that stuff. And, you know, I have a couple things to get fixed. So while my house is in disarray, I figure, you know, I get the other things fixed. So I had to move you know, some of my makeup and I was just like going to sit here with a plain wall behind me. And then I was like, Ooh, that, that doesn't look very good. So let me just bring the little Pat McGrath back. <laughs> and then I was like, Oh, let me take my picture from out the bathroom and put it there with these little flowers. And Hey, it's working. I'm not mad at it at all. Now, Adept Cosmetics is one of my favorite indie brands. And yes, Adept Cosmetics is releasing a new palette on Friday the 20th called the Arrow Palette, okay? I cannot wait for the Arrow Palette. I think it's super gorgeous, really beautiful. Yes, do I have those colors? Absolutely, but I'm still gonna pick it up, <laughs> okay? Some of those multi-chromes do look unique to my collection. Now, Adept Cosmetics basically like the queen of the all shimmer palettes you know she released the plain jane palette back i want to say was it 2020 or 2019 and everybody went nuts it, it was 2020 yes it was 2020 when she released the uh all shimmer palette and everybody went nuts for it and it was great okay and next thing you know, you see all these shimmer palettes hitting the market. And some of the palettes have been different. They've had some mattes. And I just really, truly enjoyed them, okay? I'm all about the shimmer. Plus, you're going to see me do this eye look at the end of the video, you know? I love it. I use like three palettes. I'll show you at the end. But, <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and rank my palettes. So I thought it would be fun, you know, because it's a brand that I have quite a few palettes from. And I actually really do enjoy these palettes. Now, the ranking videos, you know, those videos are not new to the YouTube space. And I feel like one of the most notable persons that I remember actually just doing the first ranking video was Kelsey Bjarna J. And she has her new channel, which is now called the House of KBJ. So go ahead and follow her. She's starting over again. So that takes a lot of work. But I wanted to go ahead and rank my palettes. So today I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven palettes and I have them all except for the original Plain Jane. So let's jump into number seven. So we're talking about Plain Jane, but we're gonna put number seven is the Plain Jane Remastered. Now I really like this palette, but when I talk about the other palettes, you'll just see that, you know, I don't know, all these palettes is like, you know, it has to go somewhere. I like them all for all different reasons, but there's some that I like more than others, okay? So coming in at number seven is the Plain Jane Remastered. Here she is. This actually came out last year, yeah. And we have this beautiful color story, and most of the shades are actually repeated shades, except for maybe about two or three. So let's see. Well, I marked them when I did the video to try to figure out what shades were repeated. Oh, I think I figured it out, okay. So one, two, and three, four and five are 
the new shades. Yes. Okay. So I marked the new shades that were existing. I put tiny little marks with them so I wouldn't know. So I feel like the color story is really pretty. The shimmer formula is very pretty, exceptional. It's probably a little bit better than with some of the other formulas that we see in the palettes. But the color story is really pretty, but I don't feel like it's one of the most innovative color stories by Adept Cosmetics. So that's why it comes in number seven for me. But every time I use this palette, I'm going to get a great look. Recently, I just went in with ACI 13. I was like, oh man, this is like the perfect just champagne gold shade with a little sparkle of just a hint of pink in it. It's just really, really pretty. But like I said, because the color story is just, it's pretty and it's pinks and it's greens and a couple of reds and purples. I feel like it's kind of standard, but it's not like as fun and bold and unique as some of the other color stories. So that's why it's coming in at number seven. Coming in at number six, and this is probably because I haven't had a lot of time to sit with the palette. This is the makeup palette and this was the release from holiday 2022. Okay. And it looks like this. Now, I think that this palette is actually really gorgeous. You get a lot of bold, unique, colorful. You get a few colorful shades, but you get a lot of bold, unique jewel tones. That's what I'm saying. Or metallics. You got your silvers, your golds, your pewters. And then you have like the pop of purple for your mattes. So the purple, of course, is going to basically look like great on any type of skin tone. I feel, do find that I felt like this purple was a little hard to work with. It didn't lay as well. And I know it's like reformulated, but I feel like, I don't know. This particular purple just wasn't my favorite. But oh my gosh, this shimmer right here, this shimmer right here. And it's just like a great palette if you're a person that just loves a bunch of neutrals and you just want to pop it on the eyes. You want something super sparkly, super pretty. You do have a little texture with this shadow. So I do don't mind the texture, but... I don't know if it's my favorite formula by Adept, but it is a really gorgeous palette. And even if you're a person that's like, ah, I'm just want some browns, you could throw some bronzer in the crease and then pop on one of these shimmers and you're good to go. So I do think it's like a really gorgeous palette and a really great like holiday, New Year's type of event palette for sure. So coming in, I guess, at number five, which I'm kind of like, I'm surprised about, but I, I didn't know where to put this palette to be honest with the Nin Hydrant palette. And this is one of the palettes I actually have on my eyes today. And I think this is actually my first Adept palette. Yes, so it is. And I don't know, like I said, it just kind of had to go somewhere because I really enjoy this story. So in this particular story, this color story, you actually have two mattes that are really grungy. And this one is kind of like a brown with kind of like a green, kind of like, you know, just really grungy baby poop brown <laughs> that, you know, we have come to love in the makeup community. And this one is just kind of like a gray, and you know, I love a gray matte, but it has like a, a hint of purple to it. So it's really pretty and it goes along with these jewel tone shapes. Now, I remember when I think uh, Adept actually did post a photo of me with this palette and she said that she just imagined all grunge with this palette and didn't realize how you can get a mermaid color story but when i look at this palette i definitely just see mermaid i see grunge but i definitely see more mermaid and the greens the purples they go on so well i definitely always apply like some type of glitter glue anytime i wear my adept shadows because they're just so sparkly and i want the sparkles to be just be seen and i want the ultimate pigmentation the blues you have this like pink and this is actually a little bit different formula this is one of my favorite golds like i just love golds this shade i will literally just put all over my lids as you can see it has a really good dip in it and just go and be so happy about it with a little eyeliner and keep it moving so definitely one of my favorite palettes in my collection and i don't know it was just kind of hard like hmm, okay it's number five but i'm surprised but like i said i do do love some other ones a little bit more Okay, so coming in at number four, we have Codeine, okay? Now this one, it's just because it is just the grungiest of the grungy palettes, and I just love it so. And this multi-chrome right here just does it for me. It is like green chartreuse with burgundy. It is just really unique. The base is not too dark, but it's dark at the same time. It's just really unique. Paired with this one, which is um, 
I feel it kind of mimics the shade um, Corruption by Pat McGrath, but more bold. They also have the chartreuse gray. This this gold i'm like what are these colors <laughs> like can the colors come to mind with this type of gold this is my type of gold it's more of like a um a melony gold it has um so i, I really appreciate this palette along with the turquoises and these two matte options they definitely go bold they are like go bold or go home but of course you could just pull in other mattes from your palettes if you're not in that type of mood and sometimes i do that just come in this palette and oh it kind of like matches my nails y'all see that <laughs> that's cool so really pretty it's just like a little pleasant surprise okay so the top three we're at the top three and the top three was just so hard when I say hard I mean just so hard like the top three could just like rotate for me like the the third one could be the first one. The first one could be the third one. The second one could be the first one and just like they this top three could just like keep going back and forth like honestly because sometimes I'm like this is my favorite palette and sometimes I'm like this is my favorite palette and then sometimes you get you get the point okay so in this video in this video at the at the present moment this is number three and I use this palette today this is the Heather Austin palette, okay? Like I said, at the present moment, it is really gorgeous, really pretty. Heather did her thing. This is one of my top palettes of 2022, and I feel like she deserves it. This color story is everything. The multichromes, the shimmers, the mattes, everything layers over perfectly. I'm wearing the shade Austin right here in the inner corner. Look, look how this shade just transcends. I mean, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think about putting this shade next to a purple, but it works, okay? The two matte choices, gorgeous on this end. You can make it a little bit more neutral. You have your green and your mustard, so you're a little bit grungy on the other end. And we just give you that pop of gold. It's pop of color. You have some neutral shades. You put them over a black base. You got a nice coppery orange shade. Just beautiful metallic shifts. The only shade that, like... I, I like the shape, but it can give me a little trouble. It scrubs because it does that wave and dip thing that I like to emulate when it just kind of waves in the pan and can make it a little hard to pick up and to lay down on your eyes. But overall, I mean, it is just a super, super solid palette. And every time I like look at the palette, I'm like, yes, I want to use it. So like I said, sometimes it's number one, sometimes it's number two. But in this particular video, I'm you at new. It's coming in at number two. Now she has reformulated. This is Amunet, which is Amuet palette now. And, and I have the dark version, okay? So there was two versions of this palette. There were dark and then there was light. The dark version, the difference was that this matte right here was a navy blue matte. Honey, you're giving me a navy blue matte. I'm all about it. That's what I want, okay? <laughs> so I love navy blue mattes. I love navy blue mattes, okay? Navy blue mattes pair with a gray matte with purple forget about it this color story is one of the most innovative fun neutral not neutral bold earthy smoky color stories just unique that i have in my collection hands down hands down okay you have copper you have brown you have medium tone warm brown you have cooler shades purple blue gray you have a taupey uh kind of like a taupey gold okay you have an antique gold you have a very unique multi-chrome right here in ray that okay i didn't think i was watching things I, I i almost made it but okay do you see this multi-chrome do you see this this is so unique. I, I live. It's first of all, it's like taupe, and it has like a grayer base or a brownish base. It's taupe. It flashes like lime green and purple and gold. It, it's wonderful. It's magnificent. Every time I pull out this palette, I'm like, yes, just give me re. And then we have this beautiful berry shade. And the wonderful right here, Hathor, which is just a beautiful, sparkly, you know, white base with a chartreuse green flip. A lot of green. It's just a gorgeous palette. The color combinations are endless. Just endless. It's daytime. It's going out. It's special occasion. 
So and I'm also wearing this palette on my eyes today. So you'll see that in a moment. And number one in this video, but I do love this palette. So like I said, the top three, you can just like switch at any moment and it would definitely be House of L. Okay. This little baby right here, she came out in 22 and she stole my heart. Now the mattes, I'm fond of, but I'm not like, oh my gosh. But these shimmers, they are the most foiled, most vibrant, shiniest, smoothest multi-chromes. This middle row especially, oh my gosh. First of all, the whole thing, the blue, the lime green, the, the pinky orange, oh my gosh. This shade right here is like a fire... <coughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, uh, excuse me, do you see this? This is Zorel. Are you kidding me? It's lime green. It's red. It's gold. It's, it's just gorgeous. Okay. And it's deep. And then you have the middle shade, which is that beautiful orangey red shade with gold. And then this beautiful beautiful rose gold shade that kind of has a little lavender in it oh my gosh and even at the top where it's a little bit more pinky and the orange one and this one just this one's definitely more red so smooth then we also have the blue i've ran out of fingers <laughs> the blue and i'm gonna go down below swatching at a new level <laughs> and look at the green <laughs> down below <laughs> i mean this palette is they are so smooth and go on so well and it kind of looks like some of them they will be flaky but they lay on the eyes just so perfectly and that is the color choices just like the pops this shade at the top, it, that Zor L, it does it for me every single time. And that's why this palette is at the top. I think one of the last times I wore this palette was to um, Homecoming. And it was actually the Homecoming game day. My colors are orange and green. And I just had like this multi-chrome eye going with the shift and just like some bronzes and, and the outer V because I didn't want to be so orange because, you know, I had orange and green paraphernalia on also, you know? So I had to break it up, but it was gorgeous. And the longevity was great, okay? So those are my Adept palettes. I don't actually have any Adept singles, but those are my palettes, and she is just basically trans over the palettes, and I can't wait to add the Arrow palette to my collection, which is coming out. If everything goes right, this video will air Thursday, and I wanna say the 20th is definitely going to be Friday? Yeah, that would make sense. Today's the 16th. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it and definitely stay tuned for the tutorial. Mm hmm. Because this look is everything. Okay. And I'll see you on the opposite side of the tutorial. All right. So let's get started with the tutorial real quick. I don't know how this look is going to come out. So you have already seen it by the time you see this part. I did cry my eyelids. I picked up the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden because I really like this formula. But as you know, my shade and caffeine. Mm, can't find it but I did mix it with my paint pot in the shade contemplative state which is my color which is like the same color as my uh, caffeine primer or the caffeine primer by Urban Decay and I mixed the two so it wouldn't be so stark because I love the color of this but I'm just no, not sure about the texture of this just yet <laughs> but I know I like this so I just kind of mix them the two let them sit there on the eyes for a second so Let's jump in. So I pulled out like three palettes. Don't know where this look is going to go. I'm just literally playing. I'm going to have some fun. I have my Almuda new palette right here. She looks like this. This is the gorgeous color story. Really fun. Heather Austin palette. Really beautiful color story as well. And then chose one more, the Nin Hydrant. Because I haven't had a chance to play with her in a long time. And beautiful, beautiful shimmers in this palette as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull you closer and let's get started.
So normally I film in my other chair that goes with like my vanity, my regular vanity rack. But then I be struggling. So <laughs> when I say I be struggling, I be struggling. So especially since I moved in here and I don't have like the carpet to give like the extra cushion and I'm just on the towel. And be honest, like this towel right here is probably not the straightest. It's got going into a little slope. So I was like, you know what? Usually I sit on pillows anyway when I film with my other filming setup. So I was like, let me just grab this kitchen stool. Hey, baby! I am rolling. I'm like, yes, I don't have to struggle to try to sit on two or three pillows and be readjusted and then like slumping down because the pillows be sinking because you know my body weight. Whatever, you know, I'm slim thick. You know, it is with this. But <laughs> oh, okay, I got a new leash on life. Look at this. Look, it came out great. Mm. I mean, you guys have already seen it, you know, recording in the reverse. But you saw the palettes that I used. Of course, I used the Amunet. I used the Heather Austin palette. That's how we have Austin right here. And then little Nin Hydra. It came out wonderful. Went in with my Rare Beauty foundation and concealer right here. I wear the shade 430W in the concealer and 420 Neutral in the concealer. Foundation 430 Concealer 420 Neutral. And then, of course, you know, it's no stranger here. Where is it? <laughs> oh, this is, look, look at me just spinning, okay? <laughs> I got my Minted Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Vacay. And then I took my, my little blush, blushing hats or blushing delights by Pat McGrath, a little hat box situation. And I went in with kind of like a mixture of these two shades for my blush. Then for my highlighter, I just kind of went in with the Oldie But Goodie, but if you have something like this, I'm pretty sure you have a golden lead peachy highlight. Went in with this Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight from, this is a collaboration with Puma. Super pretty. This is what it looks like. Y'all, takes forever. <laughs> I have had pan on this product since 2019, okay? <laughs> pan on this product is when I'm still over here working, but I love this highlighter. And for my lips, I went in with my Doll Face uh, Liquid Cream Matte by Blend Buddy Cosmetics. I did not add the liner because I was a little too lazy to get up and get the liner because, <laughs> you know, my makeup's kind of everywhere because of the construction in my house. And for the eyeliner, I went and took my Blitz Blue. Where is she? It's by Pat McGrath Labs. Yes, Blitz Blue Pencil for the bottom waterline. Topped it off with some Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. That is the look. So, I hope you enjoyed my ranking of these palettes. I hope you... I don't know, like it could all change, you know? So I can't wait to see what the Arrow palette has in store. And I'm very excited about that one on like the greens. So I'm like, ooh, those are pretty. And all those beautiful multi-chrome shimmers, they look absolutely gorgeous in the swatches. But uh, Adept, of course, is a brand that I just enjoy so much. I hope you enjoyed this ranking. And it was fun, ranking videos are fun. So leave me a comment down below and give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with all that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chairs. Chair this. Hey, 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 chair this. I can really move now. Chair Hey, 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 chair this. Oh, it's a real chair. Oh, yeah. It's a chair this for real now. We're moving in the stool. Hey, hey, hey. See y'all later. Bye.